Hello and welcome for another episode of uh, Get to Know Our Speakers for the Puck Challenge 2023 as we are reaching almost the opening of the session in the Netherlands. And uh, today it's a pleasure to introduce and be with my uh, guest uh, Nick Finch from In My Data. Hello Nick. Hey Vim, nice to speak to you. Well, first of all, uh, I remember you were from DataPA, but uh, I read that it's already a few years ago that you uh, changed into In My Data. Yeah, yeah, we still, uh, the company still registered as DataPA, In My Data is a trading name, but um, uh, we changed from DataPA, which was an on-premise solution, um, to In My Data, which is a cloud solution. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, hence hence the the change of the name, but still the same people involved, uh, oh, yeah. still doing the same thing, providing analytics and business intelligence for progress and other customers these days. Yes, yes, the familiar faces indeed. And uh, your session that you are giving on the uh, Park Challenge uh, twenty twenty three in uh, the Netherlands is about web assembly or wa wasmul. <laughs> yeah. Please, uh, can you elaborate on uh, on what that is technology wise? Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I guess. Uh, well, first off, my my uh, my talk is is called uh, 2023 is the year of Wasm. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of regretted that title within a few weeks because uh, oh. it's pretty clear that 2023, if it's a year of anything, is uh, large language models and AI. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, you know, regardless. Um, I think it's pretty clear that WebAssembly is one of the most significant new technologies for application development mm -hmm. uh, that we've seen in, in decades. Um, it started as a as a side project, really, for somebody to get games running in the web mm. um, and is now the fastest growing, if not uh, the fastest growing technology for porting desktops uh, technology to the browser, but also for cloud mm -hmm. and server deployment. Um, and if you just do a quick scan of the web, you know, you'll see there's lots of discussion about it replacing technologies like Docker and Kubernetes. Oh, um, yeah. th there's a lot of discussion still about whether that that's true or not. But if you dig into those arguments, you know, and look closely at it, the argument for retaining things like Docker and, and Kubernetes is usually around we have a lot of experience in tooling with those technologies rather than there being any compelling reason not to use WebAssembly, which is, is more suited. Uh -huh. um, and I, I, I don't know. I, I know you were there yourself, Bim, and um, maybe some of the other audience were as well. I did a talk on this on the same subject two years ago at Poet. Yeah. Just doing research into WebAssembly for this this session, it was just really stark the amount mm. of development that's gone on in in just those two years. Yes. You know, there's been something around sixty billion dollars of of investment in it. Wow. Um, <laughs> and and so the tooling is really getting much more mature. I think. You know, if you were building a new application from scratch, it would be difficult not to look at WebAssembly for the, the entire stack of the application you're building. So yeah. Uh, yeah, in the talk, I really want to bring that home to the open edge community and talk about how you can leverage some of that technology from yeah. open edge. So we'll look at some examples. Uh, one of the most interesting ones is integrating large language models like Llama, um, mm. as, we, as we sort of talked about earlier. Um, into your open edge application. So you could do things like sentiment analysis. So if, mm. if people are entering text um, mm -hmm. into your application, you could you could use that to analyze whether it's positive or negative or, or bring out some of the, the use cases for that text or the, um, the detail of the text. Yeah. You can build things like application insights or error logging that's really lightweight and cloud-based. Um, and easy to integrate and really quick and easy to integrate and, and give quick access to the data that it's generating. Um, so some really interesting things that you can do on the back end. And then, of course, you know, I'll show an example, the obvious use case, which is building a, a web native. Um, mm -hmm. UI for that. Um, I see, you know, um, I'm, up, I'm talking at the same time as Rob Strait, so I guess anybody who's interested in that uh, okay. <laughs> of, uh, of Open Edge will likely be at his talk and not listening to me. Um, but I, I, you know, I think WebAssembly offers a really, really great opportunity for securing the future of Open Edge. Um, mm -hmm. I hope Rob's talking about WebAssembly. Um, who knows? Um, but if not, I would encourage if you, you know, if you are 
interested in the future at least come and have a look at i presume there's recordings of the talks yeah well. exactly i mean uh even if you are uh against strong competition don't worry uh we have all the recordings uh set yeah. up and uh, they will be uh published online so uh if if, if somebody is uh uh, hesitating and uh, not uh, knowing where to go to you can always uh, look at it later and and the nice thing about the conference is also that you are physically there so even yeah. afterwards you can uh, talk uh, uh, get some more inside information exchange contact information and uh, that's always what I find uh, very uh, nice about the conferences is that Absolutely. it doesn't end when you go home I mean it, it starts when you are on a conference and afterwards you you can build up a relationship relation and exchange data information and prospects and uh, that's exactly what 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 we also did uh, a few yeah. times uh, together yeah. so uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the nice thing uh yeah. is there anything else there i would like to say uh, about the, the conference the, the location uh, <laughs> i'm not yeah I'm very much looking forward to catching up with uh, yourself and and lots of other uh, sort of old colleagues and friends um, mm -hmm. and uh yeah excited to see what um what people are doing with open edge these days and and what tool sets they're using and uh and what's new yeah 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 and uh well you 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 mentioned it in the session description or in your uh, uh speaker bio um i think one of the trends we're seeing is that uh, we are no longer only treating data as uh, numbers and and uh values and dates uh, we're getting much more information from from text and uh, AI analysis on uh, on on that that part of the data, which is very interesting. Uh, uh, yeah, no, we we we've spent the last uh, four months integrating ChatGPT into in my data. Um, mm -hmm. so, uh, as as an example of a WebAssembly front end, because we built the front end of that using WebAssembly. Mm -hmm. um, I will show that as as part of my uh, part of my talk, but yeah, certainly the you know the integration of those large language models. Um, uh, you know, I, I I'd be very interesting to see what discussions are going on mm. at the conference about that. My personal opinion, and one thing we're exploring um, is actually using those large language models as a as a user interface for yeah. the application itself. So yeah. rather than having lots of screens with options and all those sort of yeah, things on it. Choices, it's a chat yeah, interface. Yeah. yeah. And and you know, we we've made some some progress in that already. So mm. um yeah, it'd be very interesting to see uh you know to see who's who's engaging with that uh, uh, yeah. in the progress community and 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 where that's going to well, to talk, talking about uh, Chat uh, GPT, I, I hope you can make it to the uh, Birds of the Feather session, which is on uh, Wednesday afternoon. After all sessions have been done, uh, yeah. you know, yeah, Birds of the Feather Feather sessions mean that there are uh, quite informal. Uh, we we have refreshments, <laughs> uh, both with and without alcohol, so that keeps the discussion going. And uh, I would love to see you uh, in the public uh, interacting with the uh, panel. Yeah. Okay, uh, Nick. Well, thank you very much. For for your uh, introduction and looking really forward to see you uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, take care and uh, have a safe journey and see you there. Yeah, see you there, Vim. Look forward to it. Bye-bye.